Welcome, welcome. I am Karen Joseph with 7 Networking. Hello, Victoria, honey. How are you doing? Hope you're having a great day. Hello, Kaffir197. How are you? We are going to talk about some business card etiquette today. I am all about networking, helping you guys to build better relationships. Hello, E-Train Win. Hey, Mary Chapman. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Welcome to all the live viewers, replay viewers, web viewers, everyone, everyone out there in the world. We have lots of great, exciting things coming up. And I just thought I would hop on for a few minutes because I wanted to talk. Yes, that's right. South California. I'll be there in a few weeks, Christy. Can't wait to meet you. Yes, yes, yes. And my new friend, Mary Chapman. Love spending time with you yesterday morning. So yeah, so we're going to talk a little about networking etiquette, not networking etiquette, but well, it kind of is. It's business card etiquette, right? You all have those wonderful business cards that you bring to networking events. Let me flip this around. So you can see me. Hello, my gardener was just outside and he was so noisy and I was going to come on earlier and I was like, nope, have to wait until he leaves. You know, I'm in Arizona, so I have this much grass in the backyard, so it doesn't take him very long to mow it. <laughs> Takes them longer to uh, rake up the rocks. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm not used to this Arizona living, but it is nice and warm out here. Hey, Ashley, how are you doing? <laughs> That's more. I'd rather be at the beach, though. I always say, why can't there be beaches in Arizona? We have so much sand. Why can't there just be some water? I wish I had some nice beach views here. Hey, Jonathan, it was great being on your scope before and meeting your little boy. He was so cute. He was having so much fun. So, yeah, so I am Karen Joseph. Hello, Whole Healing to Restore. Welcome, welcome. Scopes from the beach. Oh, I have to watch some of your scopes so I can be jealous, Christy. So I can be jealous, jealous, jealous. Hey, Jason, how are you doing today? I saw you have some new candle sizes you're making. I loved your last scope. Big ones, little ones, all different sizes. Check out Jason the Scented Bean. He makes soy candles. Fabulous. I have one or maybe two, wink, wink, coming in the mail. So I am super excited. So yeah, so I am the owner and founder of a business networking organization called Seven. Thanks for sharing, Jason. And I am passionate about helping entrepreneurs to grow their business to whatever level they desire. So that means you guys, if you want to grow it huge, 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 let's take it huge. If you want it to be a hobby, then let's take it to be a hobby. All right. But there are ways to learn how to network. I'm here to help you. And I also do scopes on business tips, motivation, um, pretty much all things positive having to do with networkers, networking, and business. So you go to those networking events. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. You go to those networking events. You come home with this stack of business cards, right? What do you do with the cards once you bring them home? What do you do with the cards? Well, that's a whole other story, a whole other day, right? Did you guys organize your cards? Hey, hey, hey. Hello, how are you? So we're going to talk about when you're at the networking event and you're getting those cards, all right? So my tips for you are business card etiquette. Rule number one, keep your business cards to yourself. You have your assistant organize them. Christy, I love that. I love that, love that, love that. Hello, D-Graphic. I'm great. How are you doing today? Yes, I wish I had some. I do have an assistant, but I don't give her my business cards to organize, but maybe I should start doing that. So anyhow, you're at a business networking meeting. Don't ever, ever, ever give your cards out unless people ask for them. Treat these like gold, right? If I'm sitting at a networking meeting and people start passing cards, first of all, it's rude and distracting when other people are talking. When people start passing the cards around, I just take them and I keep them in front of me. Because I see people sitting there looking at the cards that are coming around. And when people are giving their commercials, I think it's very sad that people aren't listening, right? It's rude. And it is so distracting. So I just take the cards. I plunk them down in front of me. And then, you know, when the meeting's over, people can, hey, Tammy, people can just come up and take the cards that they want, right? There's no reason to go to an event. Those get the spec right. There's no reason to go to an event and to shove cards at people to like put cards in someone's hand. That is such a huge turnoff, right? 
Give your card when yes, when people ask for them. Okay, so second thing is, amen, says Angela. Yes, okay. So don't give your card yes. And that kind of leads into the second thing. Intuition is helpful in business. Exactly. The second thing I was going to talk about is, um, well, a tip for business cards. When you get a card, all right, say you're talking to someone at a business networking event and you're really interested in connecting with that person. So what I do is I always get the card from the other person so I can contact them. Yes, don't just connect with them on your phone, right? So I like to get people's cards so I can contact them. Then the ball is in your court. You're the person who's responsible for following up. If you hand business cards out to someone, someone says, oh, they're interested in your business, and you go, oh, here's my business card, do you think nine times out of ten, they're probably never, ever, ever going to follow up with you. You take the card, then you have the ball in your court. Another thing I like to do is if I do hand a business card to someone or... If it's someone I'm interested in following up with, I write a little note on the back, maybe something to spark my memory, and I'll just say, you know, just to spark it, like maybe, oh, this person um, was from New York, interested in X, Y, Z. That way, and I slip, and then I give it to that person too. So when they look through their cards again, they'll remember me. They'll say, oh, that was that crazy New Yorker gal member with Seven Networking. Ha, ha, ha. You design business cards. Cool. Well, then you should be giving us helpful tips and hints about business cards. That would be great. Another thing is, tip, is sometimes if I'm in a networking event and you get a big stack of cards, right, and there's one that has a picture on it, when you get home and you say, oh, yeah, I met this gal. I want to connect with her. She's a massage therapist. I want to get in touch with her. And you're looking through all your cards. You go, oh, yeah, that was the gal. That's the one with the, the cute smile. That's the one I want to connect with. So if you put your picture on your business card, that's another great way for people to remember who you are. Another thing sometimes if I'm talking you on front and back, yes, not just on the front. I was going to talk about that. Yes, front and back. I totally agree, and not shiny or glossy on the back. The back should be an area where people can write on. So if they want to remember something about you or they want to take down some additional information, no, you're good. You're good, you're good, you're good. I appreciate you, uh, you interacting. That's what Periscope is all about. It's for you guys to come on and offer your great ideas. We all learn together on Periscope. So yes. You have tons of business cards sitting in your drawer, Jason. Mm-hmm. Yes, you hate when people use gloss. I know. I agree. When there's glossy on both sides, no, you can't write anything on it. It's so annoying. It's like, oh, my pen doesn't work. And then you're like, no, it's not my pen. It's the business card. And it gets super crazy. So remember, if you want to make it glossy on the front, that's fine. But make sure the back is an area that's easy to write on. So, yeah, so now let's talk about... Um, you know, when you get all those hundreds and hundreds of business cards, like Jason said, they sit around. And Christy says she has her assistant organize them. What do you guys do with them, right? You should come home and the people you're going to want to follow up with, those are really the people whose cards you should have, not this huge stack like I have sitting here. Do what I say, not what I do, right? <laughs> but you know what? I go to so many networking events and I feel like I should take my members' cards because... I just don't want to be rude, you know, so that's why I have all these millions of cards, and they're all people that I do connect with, so another tip, don't just add social media logos, add forward slash your link, yes, that is a good tip, definitely, because sometimes it's hard to um, find the website that, that, true, so anyhow, so I come home with all these cards, and um, my husband is like very organized, I'm not. I will tell you that is not my forte. I'm kind of like a mess when it comes to organization. Yes, that's what Teme does. She sends them a personalized link and connect message. She follows up 24 hours, right, Teme? 24, maybe 48 hours. I, I, I stalk people too. I call it friendly stalking just to check them out, right? You want to know what they do, where they've worked, all that kind of stuff. That's important. Yeah, 24 to 48 hours is the time to follow up with people. And it can be a phone call, it can be a message, but maybe a little email, maybe even a little note in the mail if you have their um, address. Think how special that would be because we never get, you know, 
letters in the mail anymore. It's always just either bills or junk mail. So if you have their address and you can send them, please all share an awesome scope. Oh, thank you. Yes. So if you can, you know, send them a little message in the mail, that's really nice. You hate phone calls? <laughs> I love the phone. <laughs> I love the phone, and another reason why I love the phone, well, first of all, you guys know I love to talk. Tame, you're a chit-chatter too, honey. I know you, but um, I love the phone because people, you can connect with people right away. You know, you're not waiting for them to get back to you, right? You're not waiting for them. If you send them an email and you want to make an appointment with them to, like, get together for coffee, start building those connections and building those relationships, you don't have to wait, oh, I have to wait for this person to answer me back, where a phone call can be um, can be quick, and you can also, you know, really get to know someone. Hello, Rhonda. How are you, honey? Welcome, welcome. We're talking about some business card etiquette today, what we should be doing with all these business cards. They should all go into a contact management system. What is your job? Um, I am the owner of a business networking organization called Seven, and I am keen about promoting entrepreneurs, helping entrepreneurs to grow their business by giving you guys tips, tricks, setting up networking groups all over the country. Um, that is what I do. I wanted to mention that, do you make good money? Oh, yeah, sure. I think you are a troll, though, sir, so there you go. Hey, Rhonda, how are you? Welcome, welcome. I am beauty. I haven't seen you in a few days. I guess you're you've out you're out being beautiful. So, in order to help entrepreneurs, hey hey hey, one of the things I like to do, as I said, I like to promote you guys. I like to connect you guys, support you guys. So we did a huge, fabulous. Tame was part of it on Saturday, a small business Periscope train, basically. It was 50 plus entrepreneurs. Jason was there, and many 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 wonderful entrepreneurs throughout the world. Everyone had 10 minutes to share what they do. It was long. It was extremely long. It was nine plus hours. So we are doing something a little different for the holidays. It's going to be called the um, Holiday Giveaway. Let me turn this around because we are starting it tonight and you guys all want to be on for giveaways, right? Oops. Let me get rid of this. Okay. Yes, it was a ton of fun and... Um, we all got new followers, you know, met new people, and now it's about connecting with them, building those relationships. Nine hours, that's boss moves. Oh my goodness, it was a long day. It was a fun, fun, fun long day. So we are starting tonight, Periscope Holiday Giveaways. We're going to use the hashtag, Jason, hashtag Holiday Giveaways. I have made the schedule. Um, it's going to be every evening for 16 days. Ellen does 12 days of giveaways. We're doing 16. Don't ask me why I pick 16, maybe sweet 16. No, I just figured today is December 1st. We'll start today and we'll end on a Wednesday, December 16th. Um, just because after that, people are busy with their families. So it's going to be every evening. Tonight, Deb Coleman at Deb Coleman Writing. She is going to be doing the first giveaway. It is going to be, let's see, 8 p.m. Mountain Time which is 7 p.m. Pacific Time, which is 10 p.m. 10 p.m. on the East Coast for all my East Coast friends. So if you're interested in participating, I do need an email from you. We might have two people on certain nights, but that is fine and dandy. I'm going to flip this around. You guys can all use that little that little guy there with the uh, hat on. If you're interested in participating, send me an email, info at 7.org. Don't forget to come on tonight. I do a Promote Your Scope every evening at 6.30 p.m. Pacific. And then right after that, 7 p.m. Pacific, we will hop on Deb Coleman sto Scope De at Deb Coleman Writing to hear a little bit about what she does and hear about her fabulous, fabulous giveaway. So please do share that with your family, friends, all of your Periscope peeps. We want to um, support our friends here on Periscope. It is a huge supportive community, and this is a great way to meet new people and make those connections. That's not your bedtime. 10 o'clock? Oh, please. You'll be home from bowling, so you can hop on, <laughs> right? Unless you get stuck at the bowling alley selling lots and lots of candles. But um, 
you probably will be home by then. I hope you got stuck at the bowling alley selling lots and lots of candles. That would be that would be a good thing, right? Your wife would be happy that you went out bowling <laughs> at night. So that is what's happening in the land of Periscope. And uh, we will see you on for sure. Fabulous. So go out, make it a great day. Remember when you get your um, business cards, don't just leave them in a clump somewhere. Enter them into a contact management system. Follow up with the people that you're interested in following up with. You have 24 to 48 hours. That's it. Even if you get home and you're tired at night, just do it. Get it done. I like to follow up with people right when I get home from a networking event just because then I know it's done. Off my plate, I don't have to think about it again. So that's me. I'm not a procrastinator as you can see. Um, so yeah, get it done. Get it off your plate. Um, and, you know, now's a new time of the year, you know, the end of the year. If you need new business cards, you want to get off to a great start in 2016, get some new business cards made up, right? Because you want to get rocking and rolling come January 1st. Everybody does, right? All right. Have a fabulous day, my friends. I will see you later, later this evening. Have a busy, super runaround day and a networking meeting tonight. But I will be back 6.30 p.m. Pacific, promote your scope, and then 7 p.m. we will hop on Deb Coleman Writings Periscope to hear about what she does and her fabulous giveaway for one of the courses that she is going to be offering very soon. I know you're all going to want to be there. Be there or be square. Jason's always a big winner, so you got to hop on, compete with Jason. Not compete, but you know. You know what I mean. All right, friends. Talk to you.